So I want to hear like how you got started. Where are you from and what did you want to be when you grew up? Sure. Um, I'm originally from Rhode Island, uh, the smallest state in the union, uh, mm-hmm. born and raised. Um, I had a love for entertainment since I was a very little girl. I would watch Barbie commercials and I would see, you know, most girls wanted the Barbies. I wanted to be the little girl on the Barbie commercial. You know, I had a big love for musicals like Singing in the Rain and um, and that's, I just always had a passion for, for, for that and wanted to get in the entertainment industry. I was a really late bloomer and my parents were like, mm, I don't think, you know, this is, I wanted to be a model. And back then that was the era of the supermodel, the, you know, five, 10, Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell's and, I was 4'11 and 75 pounds and not growing. <laughs> My parents were like, I don't think this is going to work out for you. Um, but I started doing kid modeling in Providence and I got national campaigns as a junior model. And then I eventually did grow and I started doing pageantry. I was uh, Miss Rhode Island Teen USA, Miss Teen All American. I did Miss New York USA. That's when I finally became Miss USA. Mm-hmm. And that's what got me to Los Angeles. Got it. So t- tell me what that was like being in a, in the pageants. How, how do you get involved in that? How do you find your the best swimsuit? How do you find what you want to talk yeah. about? Tell me all about it. Um, well, you know, because I was so hungry to be in the entertainment industry and there just wasn't one in Providence, Rhode Island, I did everything I could. So I did mannequin modeling in malls. I handed out perfume samples. And we had a John Casablanca's modeling school. I don't know if you remember that. I remember that. (laughs) And I went to one and the um, producers and the recruiters for the pageant would go to the modeling school and they saw me and they were like, you should really do um, our pageant. And I was like, oh, um, okay. You know, the first year I did really good. I was first runner up, but I had no clue what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Um, But my mom and dad, I knew how much I loved it. And, you know, pageantry is really cool because it's not just about winning the crown. Sometimes you really learn about yourself and you meet friends and there's lots of fun activities. Um, And I just enjoyed it. So um, I I went back the next year and I ended up winning. Uh, But I got coaches. I worked with coaches. I worked with etiquette coaches. I did media training, makeup classes, walking, like you name it. And that's what I actually do today. I give back, back to the girls that I work with today. I, I kind of help them on their journeys. Wow. And so what was like, tell me like one of your experiences, what was the best time you had doing it? Is there a memory? Doing the you have? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, gosh, I guess winning Miss New York USA was really, really exciting. There were over 200 girls. I was only 19, 18 and a half years old. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was going up women who were, you know, up against women who were 28 years old, you know, who graduated college. Some of them, you know, were attorneys. Uh, and so that crown for me was very, very exciting. I, I learned a lot about myself and I obviously got to go to Miss USA and compete on on CBS with Dick Clark and all these incredible people with 50 other women across the country. And and it was a really incredible time. I got to work with hundreds of different charities too, which was like epic for me. Oh, that's amazing. So then you said you, that's what took you out to LA. What did you want to do next? I, you know, I started off modeling right out of high school. I moved to Miami, New York, Boston, Providence. I modeled all over the East coast and I was actually really successful, but I always wanted to be an actress. I always wanted to be on television or in movies. So getting to move to LA and be Miss USA, I got to travel the country, work with charities, but I got to sign with William Morris and that was massive. Um, I, you know, I got to, I got on my first uh, television show, Pacific Blue as a series regular, which was really cool. Um, But I always, always wanted to be an actress and, you know, we're always stereotyped as women, right? Like, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you want to be a model? Oh, you can't do that. Oh, well, models can't act. You know, pageant girls can't, you know, model. Models can't act. And so it was really kind of cool getting to break those stereotypes and um, and just keep doing and pursuing what I love. Right. And so how long did you act when you went to L.A.? What what else did you do? Gosh, I really, I, I came right out of the gates running. Um, I was on Pacific Blue, CSI, NCIS, Entourage. Oh, wow. um, I think I'm, I'm really well known for being in The Wedding Singer. I was the, um, the stewardess <laughs> uh, who said, you know, there's 
the creep and coach of things he's Don Johnson. He said I was grade A top choice meat. So that's like a very famous line that everyone loves from the wedding singer. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in movies like Love Stinks, um, all kinds of great, great projects. I did hosting. And then eventually I got on my reality show on MTV with my ex-husband. 